So Aries, you know, this person, as I would say, is under some form of illusion. Uh, they're deluded because they really feel they can get this back when I just don't see it. I just don't see it. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and its course, and vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped the cards for where they're meant. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to, you know, see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes could be messages for Al that just jump out and speak to you and of course use this as a guide to support and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality <laughs> truly well uh, all right I'm just gonna take these in and I'll be so Aries, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. All right. So just looking at the past for you, there's something, something came to an end represented by the 10. Something definitely came to an end. Something that you was very much committed to as well. This could be a marriage. Um, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but something that you maybe some maybe there's a long term relationship here, something that you felt could have led to some form of marriage. Um, but definitely a high commitment there, but an ending around that for you. Where with your person, it's like very different, opposite from you. It's like you represent emotionally happiness for them. Like you had some form of impact in their life in some way, which caused them to be very much happy with you in fact you know this person was thinking about buffing something you know who knows what that buffing I'm going to pull on that but definitely the buffing of something the creation of something that could be a life I don't need to pull on that actually there we go could be a life you know together be kids whatever the case may be but definitely the buffing of something bring it to where it is now though and I'm not sure how far in the distance in the past this was, because where it is now, it seems to be a lot of hurt there between the both of you. A lot of hurt there between the both of you. I don't feel like it's having much of an impact on you simply because of how you're showing up. You're showing up as the page, which means you've already started to go down a different path. You've already started to implement things that are different. Uh, you've already started to, whether that could be work on yourself, uh, just kind of pursuing a new career, a new hobby, something that's just bringing you down a new path. Uh, it could be someone, which is this queen of, of cups here, that could represent you moving down a new path because you've got your eyes set on someone or someone has come into your path, um, come onto your path in some way. I feel like it's very much that that queen of cups, but there's a challenge around that. There's a challenge around you've seen an opportunity to actually start something with this person. There's a there's a lack of opportunity, so you see. I'm gonna pull on this. Yeah. Something around you not seeing an opportunity. There is this yeah, intuitive knowing about this person. And when we're talking about the Queen of Cups, we're talking about someone who's emotionally mature. It could be a water sign, which is uh, what was a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, but also it could be someone who's very mature, like very compassionate, understanding, patient. They exude 
that type of energy. I feel like there's an intuitive knowing about them in some way, shape or form, or just an intuitive pull to move in that direction. But you're not able to see an opportunity. It's like there's something around an opportunity, not, not seeing an opportunity to start something, whether that's start a conversation, start, you know, just building a friendship or just start talking to someone or talking to this person. Okay. Yeah, this one more. Yeah, in order for you to take action. So it's like you're not able to take action yet or, it, or action in the way that you would like. Let's say that. Well, with your person, your person is masking how they feel. It's like they're holding back on what's really going on for them. Yeah, it's like they're holding back. They're not, they're keeping their, their thoughts and their feelings close to their chest. They're not letting off too much. Um, but very different from what's going on behind the scenes because it's like this person is unable to wake up to the fact that they're just not going to have a victory with this, with you. They're just not. I feel like the ship has been has sailed. Um, they're not wanting to face up to that. They're not wanting to acknowledge that. <laughs> you know, we've got the page which talks about, you know, realization, epiphany, wake up call. That's in their challenge. And then we've got the six, which talks about victory, success. Again, in the challenge position, in their challenge position. So they're just not, they're blind, blinded by the fact that they can actually turn this around. <laughs> because what? Because you're understanding or you've been understanding in the past. You've been compassionate in the past. I don't want to say a cross watcher, but I just think, I'm not sure why you feel this. <laughs> you know? Because they're wanting to start fresh. This person wants to start fresh. They've not woken up to the fact that their ships has sailed. Uh, the Aries has started to already embark on something new. Um, and that new could be anything. I feel like it's very much tied to this person. This person has sparked, you know, a newness in you. Yeah, regardless of the fact that at the moment, currently, you don't see, yeah, there's some stuff around the opportunity to then take action. But, you know, you've kind of started to move away from this already. Yes, there's still some stuff or hurt there based on what you've experienced, but you're you've started to move away from this already. And this person, this person is under some form of illusion. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quartz Watcher, but you know, if you've been listening to my channel for a while, I call a spade a spade, sweetie. That's how that one works. It's all coming from a place of love. You know, tough love as they say. Yeah, wanting to protect this wanting to protect you wanting to protect this yeah look at what they're wanting free still come together still collaborate and this person i don't know where they're getting it from aries this magician they feel like they can actually make this happen where for you very different again it's this i'm ready to embark on this new journey i don't know yes where it's going to turn or where it's going to go how it's going to turn out, but I'm willing to take that leap. I'm willing to take the first few steps. I'm willing to head in that direction. And I'm going to pull on my inner strength in order for me to maintain that. And I think you're going to need that, if I'm honest with you. Definitely feel like you're going to need that because this person is persistent. This person is under some form of illusion. This person is um, deluded in some way, shape or form. Um, but hold on to this because they'll soon wake up Definitely, they're going to take action in some way, shape, or form to some degree. And who knows how long it's going to take for them to actually wake up to the fact that it's not going to work. Usually, at this point of the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture, see where this actually moves to. But I will be implementing that next week, guys, so we can actually get a fuller picture on these readings. But as it stands, hopefully, this has given you some form of clarity. Maintain where you're at. Maintain where you're at is working for you. Um, and of course, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next.